This riff is from the song Wanted Dead or Alive by Bon Jovi. Now it's originally played on a 12 string, but I'll show it to you just on a 6 string. Now it's in the key of D minor, or really D Dorian, so it kind of follows the C major scale but built around the D. So it's got this pedal note of the open D here, and then it's just descending in 6th intervals. Now if C was my tonic, the two types of 6 are major, and then there's minor. So when I'm on the one of the key it's major, the second is major, third is minor, semitone to the four that's major, tone to the five that's major, and then the six, which is where we're going to start. That's a minor sixth. So I'm basically going to pick the fourth string, the third, the first, and back to the third. So I get that rhythm. Now I'm going to descend through the six. So remember that's the six of the key. Then I move to the five, which gives me a major interval. They're both in the same fret on the twelfth there. Then I move down from there to the fourth of the key, and that's major as well. Then I semitone down as the third of the key, and then I'm going to move straight past the two, go straight to the one of the key, and then to the seven. Now the last little bit of the riff, you're going to pick this note here, to slide it down to the two, then pick this note. So you get this. So I'll play the riff up to there. So one, two, three, Four, one, two, three. Now just pick that twice and then slide that down and play that note. Now the next time on the repeat, this note here is on the R uh of the four. It's like a lead into it. So you get this three. And then you get into that note. So it goes. So you can hear that notes early there. So when you're doing that note there, you're going three E and four R one, and then you're back into the riff. So the original tempo is about 70-ish beats a minute. So I'll just play it once through up at tempo. And then repeat. So there you have it. So just remember it's in C major, but really D Dorian because it's built around this D note. And then it just descends in six, switching between the majors and the minors where appropriate to make sure you stay diatonic to the key. Now, if there's anything I've mentioned in this video you're not sure about, head over to the website masteretheart.net for lots of free training, uh, lots of videos to teach you all about the different concepts you need, and lots of other free riffs to have a go at.